Coming up, my update of my dad's favorite clones. He's made a lot of appearances off camera, but this is his first on camera appearance. Jojo. He's very excited. Isn't that a cute? <laughs> he is just, in case you're wondering what kind of dog he is, he is a Schnauzer, we think, terrier mix. He's a mutt that we got from the Humane Society two years ago. So, he, he's, oh, don't turn that off, please. Just pause it. Sorry, guys. All right. So, um, this is a quick follow-up video. Right, Mimi? Yep. For those of you who watched yesterday, we did a, uh, she picked out of the top seven of my seven favorite fragrances. We went ahead and she sampled them all and did kind of like a first impression, her favorite. And the winner was uh, Montal's Oud Forest. So today, what I did is I kept all this, the, the scent strips, the fragrance strips, and I'm going to have her smell them real quick and see if after essentially one day that with the dry down that's still on there, whether she feels the same. So here we go. In no particular order, let's go. It's not as strong because it's been sitting there for a day, but which one is this one? Well, I don't, I'm not going to tell you. Just go ahead and, you know, tell me what you think. It smells spicy, like ginger-ish. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. That does smell spicy. Okay. This one smells sweet. Like, I don't know. It still has a Wait. pretty strong smell on it, I huh? Have to... Oh, <laughs> we forgot to bring the the wool scarf to refresh her nose, but that's right. That that. Works. Yeah, it smells spicy. So you think they both smell spicy? The first one you thought smells. Okay. Smells like the standard cologne, kinda. Okay. Standard cologne. That's interesting description. All right, here we go. I'm not saying which or which guys because I, I want to kind of make it a little bit of a surprise and see what how she really feels about it. I don't know. That one's like more nature. Okay. -esque. More nature esque. Okay, I think that's a good description. smell it that well like I think the scent's kind of gone okay interesting guys so this is kind of also a good kind of review on longevity of those base notes although this is a full 24 hours just in case you're wanting to full 24 hours since we sprayed that one kind of smells like it smells bad kind of now really okay hmm interesting okay and last one That one smells like basil. I think you said that yesterday Yeah, also. I said that about something yesterday. Yep, you did about that one. Okay, all right. So, now you're looking over there. Which one do you think? We'll, we'll narrow down the top three again, and then you'll pick. I think the basil smelling one. Okay, so we got this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the other ones. Um, possibly... I think it might be the third one. This one? Yeah. I don't, let's see, I don't think it was this one, but. No, that one smells like nothing, pretty much. Okay. Let's do a quick refresher here. We already got one pick, we got one eliminated. This one. Okay. No. That one's eliminated. Okay. Possibly this one. Okay, so we got one left. Is this the one that I said smelled bad? Yeah, it's that no. one. Huh? That one. This is the third? Yeah. Alright, so guys, these are the final three. Interestingly enough, these final three, the one that she, that one yesterday, Montel Oud Forest, did not make the final cut. 
Really? Your first impression today was that it smelled kind of wood, uh, nature, was what you said yesterday, because you said it smelled uh, like woods, but today it didn't make the cut. It's kind of interesting, because this is a 24-hour dry down now to see, you know, how it smells on somebody and what she feels. So what we have left is Zizan, Eight and Bob, and Zhirzhov Udin. So we have French, British, and Italian. Yesterday, the final three were all French. That's yeah. a very kind of interesting little test. All right, let's narrow it down. Let's go to pick your favorite. She doesn't know which is which. I didn't tell her, so, but we've got... That one smells like basil. Uh-huh. That's clearly one you, that one. you resonate with basil. She clearly... That one smells like shampoo, kind of. Okay. Kind of soapy. Like soapy shampoo. Mm-hmm. This one smells like ginger or vanilla, kind of. I don't know. It's okay. like a weird... So? I oh. think... Of those three, you got the, you said kind of ginger, you've got the soapy shampoo, and you've got the basil. Ginger one. There you go, guys. The winner is Zhirzhov Udin. You can see maybe where I wrote it on there from before. It's like hard to focus. <laughs> Zhirzhov Udin, the Italian house, wins this time. Yesterday it was French. I gotta say, my own, um, I guess, recollection of this, which was kind of interesting, when I smelled these this, this morning, I got up and I smelled them now, all seven strips. This is by far the strongest, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Do you notice that of all the seven, this is the one that like has the most smell? Yeah. The one, interestingly enough, she thought didn't have hardly any smell was the Hobdon by Parfums de Marley. Um, now again, these are on the scent strips, this is non-skin, so take that for what it is. It obviously reacts differently with your skin. But my, absolutely my first impression this morning when I smelled all these was I'm like, wow, this Zhirzhov Udin is like still really kicking. I mean, that is like very strong. Obviously, it's an extremely, uh, you know, high-end, great niche perfume. So there it is, the final test. Yesterday, the winner of the kind of the first impression when she smelled all seven was Montal's Oud Forest. Today, a day later, after smelling the strips, sitting there for a day, it is the Italian uh, Zhirzhov, and that was Udin from the Shooting Stars collection. Anything else to add? Uh, well, if you have any other of these, like, except for the one that I picked, then you should probably spray, like, another, another spray, like, if you want to, like, keep the strong smell after a while. Great tip. Great tip. This is a good learning experience, so... Mimi, of course, thank you for being on the video. I really appreciate your now second appearance. We'll have mm -hmm. to do many more because I think people love seeing you and you're having fun on camera and we're having a great time. I love getting her impressions and getting her viewpoint. So, anyways, okay, guys, have a great day. This is Joel the Nose coming to you from Miami as usual with Mimi. Hi, bye. And I'm glad you guys got to meet JoJo. All right. JoJo. JoJo's over there. So, you already left. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye. Bye.